Hello everyone, welcome to the Hype Productions. In this new video, we are going to create a newsroom in Adobe After Effects with the help of chroma shootings and some more animated objects. So let's get it started. First of all, let me show you. This is my project in After Effects. You can see this project with a proper news reporting that a girl is reporting about Corona is over or maybe no lockdown, something like this. So uh, as you can see, the pupils are moving around on the background because there's no lockdown right now. Let's create this. I'm going to go to the composition and uh, I'm going to take HT size with the name of uh, news. So this is my composition. I have some down, I have downloaded some videos, which is this and the background as well. So you can get the link in the description as well. So I have both. This is my background and the other one was my lady. So first of all, I'm going to reduce the time frame of this background because the background is too much slow. So I'm going to reduce approx 10 seconds or maybe nine seconds. So it will help to move fast. So nine seconds will, let's see how about their movements. And I'm going to scale up by pressing S so they can move fast more than that. Uh, all right, that's fine. I'm going to turn on the layer of this newscaster and I'm going to go to the layer about uh, changing their names, the pupil and press enter, change the name is reporter. After that, I need to apply the effect which is called key light. You can find key light from here. And the another way is this, that you can go to the effect and find key light from here as well. So when you apply key light, press the color green so it will remove your chroma background. One thing I'm gonna make sure, make a rotation by 3D layer. So I'm gonna rotate my newscaster or news reporter from this point. So why am I doing this? Because she's actually uh, moving her hand like this. So throughout the turning position, I'm just applying this. So next step, I'm gonna take uh, hue saturation and I've apply hue saturation on the layer of pupil because I'm gonna some desaturated the pupil. I will apply another effect which is called the Gaussian blur on the back layer, pupil layer and uh, increase the blurness so now my reporter is actually out of focus on this point. So, okay, take the new solid layer, which is uh, going to be my header. So I'm gonna take new layer with the name of header and I'm going to squeeze the size of this layer, something like this and place on the top because header will going to be my main heading of my uh, news my breaking news or my news alert, anything. So I'm placing the header. All right then. Again, I'm gonna take uh, duplicate by going edit or duplicate. I'm gonna bring back into the downside. I'm gonna squeeze the size some more and place on the side. In the end of the screen, so I'm gonna enter and I will give the name is called my headlines or maybe highlight. So anything you want to, I think downside down layer is much better. I'm going to go to the settings and I'm gonna give the gray light gray color. So one is uh, white on the top, okay. I'll bring the logo. I have already designed this logo, which is K News. Yeah, so okay, scale down the size of this news and place it on the corner. I think we should uh, scale it down some more. 20, no, 23. I think that's, that's good. So no matter what happens. So now the next step is just uh, I'm going to select my header once again 
and I will apply an effect and the effect is going to be called I think uh, let's find from here um, gradient ramp or you can find out ramp so you can find gradient ramp so okay I will apply the gradient ramp on the header so you can find there are two colors on there so I'm gonna give the blue color by picking the color from the logo and I will give some lighter tones as I showing the gradient in the header so this is perfect I'm going to duplicate this layer and bring it down make them a thick layer because uh, this layer is going to be my main news so I think this layer is uh, fine I'm gonna squeeze the size adjusting this okay so uh, ensure that uh, the reporter scale it down and adjust the height width and length of the reporter according to your canvas after that uh, just uh, take the text tool and uh, I'm gonna write my text which is called uh, pandemic is over or is finished it's a good news <laughs> So let's give the white color uh, because black is not visible. I'm gonna select my pandemic uh, as a align, central line, and I will place it on the top of this header. So congratulations guys, pandemic is finished. Um, so this is my main heading. After that, I'm just going to take uh, down layer and I'm gonna make duplicate layer and uh, after duplicate I'm gonna give the name is called breaking news okay just is uh, give the main color is red because breaking news always create the action and we perform action with the red colors you squeeze the size of this layer like this and place it on the left side of your screen okay so after placing what we will have to do I'm gonna write the text which is called breaking news okay I'm gonna give bold text aerial font and I will apply breaking news something like this <laughs> so this is the adjusted position of breaking news here okay moreover if we want to talk about some tutorials so let's will create some text form the news form so I'm gonna copy this text from the lorem ipsum website which is called unregistered text and so you can easily copy okay so I have placed this text uh, I think uh, 30 pixels size this is say this size is good no worries no problems okay so I'll take uh, my main news and I'm going to write no more COVID-19 so just uh, take the heavy font which is called the impact font I'm gonna increase the size of my heading because this is my news no more COVID-19 keep the white color so it is has to be highlighted this is uh, now you can see this my news canvas is looking proper in front of the screen in addition I'm going to select one image image from I have downloaded from the Google which is an image of co coronavirus so here I have uh, placed my coronavirus I'm gonna take the new solid layer to create the uh, border of this so I need to create them something like this uh, I'm actually squeezing manually it's up to you that you want to squeeze like scaling or you want to squeeze manually it's up to you so there's no condition in it uh, just place it according to your size of the image so this is okay uh, what am I going to do my next step that I'm going to uh, 
play first and then select uh, lorem ipsum layer suppose 9 second so press p for the position and apply key on the position and in the end just position has to be move from left from right to left so now you can see our animation is applied our head our news is running under the knee okay first animation we have done now the time is for the pandemic our heading i want my heading will come after two seconds so place the key on the position and before one second it is has to be out of the stage so now let's play this it is moving now in front of our screen okay uh, so after this uh, no more COVID-19 I'm gonna press the position and before it it will going to out of this screen something like this so let's play here and after staying one second more or two second more it will going back to the it out of the screen like this so let's uh, see the final output and I will just adjust some more in front of it I'm trying to save the time I'm gonna take a split layer and uh, just uh, taking the layer okay split why am I splitting because I'm gonna add more headings in it so I'm just going to take duplicate okay so one heading is no more COVID-19 and I'm gonna take two duplicates so adjust their uh, timing like this duplicate and then duplicate I'm going to set their key all right, so we have three duplicates of no more COVID-19. So I'm gonna change to my second duplicate is called uh, coronavirus is over. And the third one uh, will be no lockdown. So on the same animation with the help of duplicate, I have created these three different headings. No more COVID-19, coronavirus is over, and no lockdown. In the last, uh, uh, I have uh, target my image. So I'm going to pre-compose both of image and their border virus. So here I'm going to press T for the transparency or opacity. Apply the key here. <coughs> so it will appear like this. And after that it will be finished so let's see what is our final output thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like this so subscribe my channel press the bell icon thank you